Um, you can also have, obviously, the ability to control your investment and be able to uh, invest in an asset that is yours. Uh, a geographic footprint that allows you to go serve more people. Like to me, there's just a heck of a lot of benefits associated um, with having a mobile model. And we're back with another episode of Franchise My Business, the podcast for franchise wars, hosted by Franchise Wars. I'm your host, Kevin Oldham, and we're going to talk about the benefits of mobile franchises. Uh, I'm jealous. I'm just going to say it out loud. Like our business model at the Smoothie Shop and Supplements franchise system that we own is not mobile at this point in time. And the pandemic really got us to start thinking about the mobile model. We've gone through the process of scoping out what a concession trailer would look like. We just haven't really pulled the trigger on it. I think there's a little bit of fear, right? There's a little bit of fear when you start taking your model and you start innovating and putting it on wheels. There's just different dynamics. And so I think that that'll be long-term a, a project that we will uh, definitely look at. But what I specifically want to talk about is like the benefits associated with having a mobile model compared to and the contrast of having a brick and mortar that people have to come to. First of all, one of the downfalls of having a brick and mortar is that chances are your customers are not gonna drive 30 miles to come see you. Unless you have something that's really remarkable and there's not a substitute option for them closer, you are typically restricted to a hyper-local uh, market. And that makes it a little bit challenging in some cases, right? It makes site selection like super, super important to make sure that you have the, the right dot on the map, the right location to be able to maximize your profitability and also just be of service to the community that, you're, that you've are you put your business in. With the mobile model, obviously, you can go to people, right? Challenges associated with that, like you people have to know that you're going to be at a certain place but it does give you a more varied geographic footprint that you can typically pull from. You just have to move that thing around. Also cost, it's just pretty amazing to be able to make that investment, frankly, into your asset. So you're building, if you build a concession trailer or concession truck or something along those lines, that's your asset and you're making improvements in that asset. You're not making improvements in somebody else's structure, their real estate, and then you're gonna leave and those, that investment's just gone forever. So you're making an investment in an asset that you own, that you control, that you get to build out the way that you want to. And I think that that's probably a, a more lean way to get into business. The other cool thing I think about when it comes to mobile businesses is this consumer mindset. Consumer mindset has definitely shifted. We are more accustomed to concession trailers, concession trucks. I have a mobile pet grooming, a pet groomer that comes to, to my home to take care of one of my dogs because she has seizures when she gets in the car and stressed out. So you get the benefit of that. And frankly, we pay a premium for that. If you were to compare a your pet grooming franchise that comes to your house versus one that you take your animals to, you're going to pay a premium for that. And so your margins are typically higher. Your, your overall cost structure is typically lower. Um, I use a mobile mechanic as well. Like I, I like to outsource as much of my life so I can focus on my body of work. And I definitely pay way more for oil changes through my mobile mechanic than I do taking it to the dealership or taking it elsewhere. But I actually save money because I'm buying back my time. My time is way more valuable than sitting in the parking lot waiting in line for fill in the blank. I could be recording an episode or doing something cool, right? Hanging out with my kids, whatever, other priorities. So what I see are, are benefits are the fact that your price point can typically be higher than somebody who has a brick and mortar, which is cool because you're offering that convenience factor. Your cost structure has generally decreased. You're not going to have a huge staff in a mobile model. Like you're not going to have 20 people working in it. You won't fit 20 people into it. You're going to have a, a pretty lean team operating. Even Chick-fil-A, when they come and bring their mobile model to events in my community, they have two people that are there. Right, But if you go to a Chick-fil-A drive through there's probably 100 people working in a Chick-fil-A. So you can have a, a smaller footprint in terms of um, headcount. You can also have, obviously, the ability to control your investment and be able to invest in an asset that is yours. Geographic footprint that allows you to go serve more people. Like To me, there's just a heck of a lot of benefits associated with having a mobile model. Some things that maybe aren't as awesome, 
let's say, choose the example of Kansas City. We've got four seasons here, and there's pretty dramatic difference between the seasons of summer and winter. We have pretty wide variety, and there's just some days that I think that operating a concession uh, vehicle would be challenging because your customers have to stand outside. Not so much during the heat, I think, but in winter, I have to anticipate that, like my favorite food truck that sets up and sells tacos across the street every Friday, my guess is if I were look, able to look at their receipts from spring and fall compared to winter, they probably see a decline in sales. And so that's just one of the things that you have to think about. If you live somewhere where the climate is just awesome all the time, it's not as much of a variable. There's a whole litany of other things that are that you have to think about. I think I'll probably just get somebody who's like doing this to come on and just talk about the mobile business. But I see so much opportunity, particularly after the pandemic and people are used to convenience and all sorts of other things. Behaviors just really changed with the future of mobile franchises. So uh, if you have the ability to play with a mobile franchise, if you already have a business, and I would consider if it's something that you can put on wheels and take to people, to explore it and see if the math works for you. There's plenty of people out there that will help you construct a a vehicle that is to the specifications of whatever type of business you have, pet care, heck, uh, anything. I think pretty much a lot of businesses can be put on wheels and taken to somebody. And then there's people that will help you configure that and figure that out. And then go out there and see if your customers enjoy it. There you go. Until next time, I'm your host, Kevin Oldham. I hope that you have a phenomenal week. I hope that you're well. And I just have two asks. Number one, if you would leave a review, if you enjoy what we're doing, I personally would deeply appreciate it. I read every single one of them. And number two, would love it if you subscribe.